Well, hey there, my name is Ben from Circle Canoe Games. Welcome to this overview video of Boone's Trace, Blazing the Wilderness Trail, which is a one to two player game that takes 30 to 45 minutes. In Boone's Trace, you play the role of the intrepid frontiersman, Daniel Boone, as he's making his way through the wilderness to his new homestead in Kentucky. To give you a sense of this game, I'm going to show you a full turn, kind of mid game of a solo game. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so a quick lay of the land. In front of us, we have the map cards, and there's all these different road spaces and forest spaces with resources on them, which we'll be using. Down here, we have a resource tracker that has food, supplies, pelts, and health. We have a turn order card. We have an elevation, which uh, affects our stamina. We have the tribe relations card, and we have the survey, where we're supposed to be surveying as much of this land we're traveling through as possible. All right, so I'm just gonna go through a normal turn and follow all these steps on the turn order so you can see what that looks like. First, we have move. Uh, and I probably want to move uh, Daniel Boone to where the scout is because that will give me double the resources. I could move along the road, which would cost me one, two, three, four food. Or since these are all the same forest type, it's actually pretty efficient to travel through the forest when they're the same because I can go one, and that counts as one big space, and then two and I'm at the settlement. Okay, so after I've moved, then we go to the resource and trade, uh, where I need to subtract the resources I used. So I went through a forest and a settlement, so that's two food. And the forest costs one supply as well. I also need to subtract my stamina. I went into one, two new regions, so I subtract from three, two, and that brings me down to a stamina of one. Stamina tells you how many new cards or regions you're allowed to travel into in that turn. Okay, now that we've subtracted all the resources we've used, I get to add back in what I gained. Uh, and this was a food settlement. There was a die roll of two, so I would get two food, but I also double it because my scout was there. So I got four food for showing up on that settlement. And last on that part of the turn, I get to trade. Since I'm on a settlement, I can trade pelts for either two food or two supplies. I'm actually gonna just use one and give myself two more supplies to kind of set myself up for some future turns. Next, elevation. So I'm going to move this tracker forward by the number of regions or cards that I've moved through that turn. So I went through two, so I go one, two. So I did a plus one and a minus two. That leaves me with a minus one. I have a one on the die, so I would subtract that down to zero, which is okay. And then that automatically pops up back to one. Uh, if you ever went below zero, there would be a penalty. Next is tribe relations. Since I'm on a card marked that this is tribe territory, I have to decide if I'm going to improve, maintain, or hurt my relations with that tribe. And I do that by spending resources. Uh, since I have quite a bit of resources right now, I'm going to improve it, which means I'm going to spend one pelt, one supply, and one food. Uh, and actually, I've moved up to a level where I get one food back, which is wonderful. Next, survey. Uh, I get to look at this letter and number right here and look at the coinciding spot on the survey map and see if I want to survey. Uh, since it's near one that I have already surveyed, it kind of makes sense. That's going to cost me a supply and a food, and I get to place one of my markers there. And since they're one away and there's a blank space in between, I get to automatically place another, and each one of these will be worth points at the end of the game. After survey, we have map and weather. So there should always be three face cards face up in front of my player piece. So I'm going to flip this up. And since there's a food settlement, I'm going to roll the die and put that there. So that is the value of that one. I also need to do the weather drawing through this pile, counting down until winter comes. If those cards ever aren't there, I'm gonna start flipping over two cards, and if that catches me, there's going to be uh, detrimental effects. Uh, next, I'm going to scout and scrounge. Scout means I get to place my scout anywhere forward on the map that I want to travel to, um, and I'm gonna say I will go ahead and travel to some place with pelts. Um, and since I only have a stamina of one, I can't travel farther forward than that. Uh, so I need to go somewhere kind of close. I've got the resources to travel there, so I think that makes sense. 
Uh, and then last, scrounge. Uh, if I had zero food, I could automatically give myself one food, but I'm doing okay for that. So from here, you just repeat those steps as you go, trying to get to the end with the most resources, setting yourself up for a great homestead, and of course, making sure you get there before winter. That's gonna start coming pretty soon here. So that was a quick overview of how to play Boone's Trace, Blazing the Wilderness Trail. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Again, my name is Ben from Circle Canoe Games. I'll see you next time.